Hi Vintage Bakers! Today I'm in the kitchen making a sneaky vegetable bread loaf. This bread has a golden chewy crust with a soft and pillowy inside dotted with wholesome veggies, which is in this case garden fresh zucchini. If you're trying to pack more veggies in your diet or if you have any picky eaters in your house, this is the perfect deliciously sliceable bread loaf. No one will ever guess it's packed with garden fresh zucchini. So let's get into the kitchen. This is how I make garden fresh vegetable bread. The first thing I need to do is soften the yeast. In the bowl of a stand mixer or a large bowl if you're making the recipe by hand, add in one and a quarter cups of warm water, one teaspoon of sugar and sprinkle on top one packet or two and a quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast. Set this aside for a few minutes for the yeast to soften and become foamy. While I'm waiting, I'm going to get the veggies ready. For me today, I'm going to be using Garden Fresh Zucchini. I have this really large one that I got from the garden and it's the perfect candidate for baking into bread. I'm going to cut mine down to a more manageable size and remove the seeds from the inside. Especially with these larger zucchinis, the seeds are quite large, so it's best to remove them. Now I'm going to shred the zucchini. You can either use a box grater for this or make quick work of this job by using a food processor with the shredding wheel. Once everything is grated down, I'm going to place it on two baking sheets lined with a clean, thin kitchen towel. This is going to soak up the moisture. Sprinkle about a teaspoon of salt over top of the zucchini. This is going to draw out the moisture over the next 30 minutes. Then use your hands or the thin cloth and squeeze out as much of the excess moisture as you can from the shredded zucchini, which you're going to find ends up being quite a lot. In another bowl, I'm going to alternate adding 5 cups of all-purpose flour along with some of the shredded zucchini. Break up the clumps of the shredded veggies and mix it into the flour until everything is evenly distributed. Now to the bowl with my yeast mixture, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of salt along with the flour and zucchini mixture. Mix this together and then knead for about 5 minutes if you're using the stand mixer. If you're making this dough by hand, knead for about 8 minutes on a floured counter. This is a relatively loose and sticky dough. Cover and allow it to rise in a warm spot for about an hour or until doubled in size. Tip the dough out onto a floured counter and spread it out. I'm going to fold the dough into thirds, kind of like how you would fold a letter going into an envelope. Then working in the opposite direction, roll the dough up into a log. You can either shape the dough into a long freeform baguette style loaf, but I found the easiest way to bake this bread is in two greased loaf pans. And that's what I've decided to do here today. I'm going to tuck my loaf under a damp towel and allow it to rise in a warm spot for about 30 minutes or until the dough has just about doubled in size and is rising up from the top of the loaf pan. This next step is optional but it does give the loaves a lovely glossy golden crust. I'm going to lightly beat one egg and gently brush the egg wash on top of my bread dough. Now my loaf is ready to go into my preheated 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius oven for 40 to 45 minutes 
or until deeply golden and the loaf sounds hollow when tapped. This recipe is enough to make two sliceable bread loaves. This soft, pillowy bread is perfect to enjoy warm with butter, sliced into sandwiches, or turn into a sneaky, vegetable-packed grilled cheese sandwich. If you're a fan of deliciously simple vintage recipes and old-fashioned skills, then you'll want to check out this next video. Thanks for stopping by.